Hallo everyone, mijn naam is Willem. Welkom bij LRD X-Cars. Ik ben hier op de Grand Prix. Als je mijn laatste video's hebt gezien, ik heb veel reviews over de nieuwe Ferrari SF90 XX en de Ferrari Pure Sangue. En dan de andere car, de Max car, ik ga hier review hier op de Zoete Grand Prix. We're inside the Zoete Prado, waar they always present a lot of new cars. I'm here at Rolls Royce to look at their latest product. I already got a quick uh, glimpse of it while I was at the Goodwood Festival of Speed uh, this summer. But now I'm going to actually make a full review about the exterior and interior of this new Rolls Royce Spectre. It's uh, yeah, the first full electric Rolls Royce and uh, yeah, quite a funny story to tell with it actually. Before Rolls Royce Motors, company actually started off, I think it was even before 1900, it was the early 1900s. Uh, Rolls and Royce, <laughs> the two founders of the company, already have made an electric car and uh, they wanted to build it, but yeah, because of that time uh, it wasn't that easy to build full electric cars. But they already thought of it before Rolls Royce actually started off to build full electric cars because it's actually a lot better to drive, uh, it's more comfortable. You have less noise, like uh, Rolls Royce is of course known for, no noise inside of the car, even the engine you can't hear, and um, yeah, that's a fun story to tell that uh, Rolls and Royce actually <laughs> already thought about it before building uh, petrol engines, and now um, actually 110 years later, they uh, actually have done it, so they were a bit uh, in front of their time, like uh, a lot of um, a lot of uh, inventors are always a bit in front of their time, so it's cool to now finally share uh, full electric holes. And it's called the Spectre, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video, I'm gonna take you around. Here we have a, a very beautiful example in a dark emerald green finished. Great example of the Spectre. It looks a bit like you had uh, the Rolls Royce down. And the raid before, the down was the open top, now the raid is uh, more of a hardtop coupe car, but this car is actually a bit based on. But for the Spectre, they of course did everything brand new. Actually, uh, Rolls Royce itself calls it their uh, third stage in time. In the beginning, when they uh, started yeah. to build the Rolls Royces, then uh, actually with the Phantom, they called it the second chapter, and then now to go fully electric, it's called uh, the third chapter, they call it. And yeah, it's a, it's a great looking one. I'm gonna take you around. Um, I'm gonna tell a bit of the specs. That's like 560 horsepower. Of course, only batteries. So underneath the car, the lower side is full, uh, full battery pack, which makes the driving, of course, a lot better than. Uh, and all the rolls, because normally we'd have the big uh, engine in front that weighs, of course, a lot and that uh, yeah, doesn't make uh, a good uh, center point of gravity here on the front. But now to put all the batteries flat on the floor, they say it's like the best driving rolls uh, ever built. And they uh, think they will be driving about, on paper it says almost 600 kilometers, but we all know that uh, 500 kilometers would be great, of course, depending on the road and weather conditions. If it's way more cold outside, then uh, yeah, it's harder to drive 500 kilometers with this car. So 450 kilometers can always be done. It's like 329 miles. You can drive uh, fully electric with this Rolls. It charges itself up, of course, in half an hour on a quick charger, and it will take about 10 hours on a, on a regular port at your home. So at night you can uh, charge it and it's uh, fully, uh, fully loaded back in the morning. And then another fun thing I'm also going to say is, this is actually uh, a very good car for Rolls clients, because yeah, we all know that uh, Rolls Royces are a bit different, it's a bit the elite of the elite. They drive in these cars, and uh, in the past they still had to take their uh, half a million euro, half a million dollar car to the petrol stations. But uh, that time is now over. You can uh, charge it at your home, and uh, you don't need to go to uh, in, in a public open location uh, where a lot of people will uh, 
distract you and uh, will uh, yeah will make pictures of your cars and things like that. So that's another fun thing that you can charge it at home. And I'm gonna take you a bit around the exterior. This time a full new Spirit of Ecstasy on, which is quite fun. 800 man hours went into making a newer, more smooth, more aerodynamic Spirit of Ecstasy comparison to the Ghost that's there. We will also have a look at. And also a full new grill on the front. Like uh, the known roll scale, this time they uh, <laughs> don't cool anything, it's closed off behind there because yeah, there is no engine here in the front, the batteries are put down low on the ground. I think there's only one small electric engine here in the front to power the front wheels and then your suspension and things like uh, your, uh, the refilling of your uh, wipers, things like that. So uh, yeah, I think quite a good look here on the front, if you look a bit at the headlights. They come a bit from the Phantom Coupe, I think, that you have like the stripe and then the circle underneath. Now, this time you have two circles underneath. And uh, yeah, a great look. Underneath some extra air intakes and some subtle silver details to uh, complement a bit the wheel design and the, the grill here in the front. Cool is how the grill is also actually illuminated. That's another fun thing uh, at night. But uh, the grill is at light, then the daytime running lights, all the stripes of course, and your high beams are underneath. The biggest uh, wheels you will ever see in a Rolls Royce, 23 inches. Looks uh, quite good. And then a known thing of course, Rolls is known for the Rolls Royce emblem always stays in the center while the wheels are turning around. That's a, a known special thing. And another cool thing is the body color. Yeah, surroundings of the wheels to complement with the, the exterior. And still a smooth car, still the typical Rolls lines. Big uh, front, you always sit a bit higher on the rolls. It's uh, not like in a, in a sport car or anything. It's all my, most like you're driving in an SUV that you sit that high. Like the suicide dogs you of course have. We'll uh, go to the interior in a minute. Here you have the cool Rolls Royce badge. Then here, this part, all the black is where the battery sits underneath. Nicely finished with this uh, silver line. Cool. Uh, Surroundings you still have place in the back, but we'll have a test on that in a minute. And then coming here to the rear, you have the beautiful coupe line of the car going down, which uh, looks actually quite good, I think. Still have a big boot in here, 330 liter boot that, of course, automatically opens. Like you see, it goes very deep. You can put like uh, two, three big uh, suitcases in. You can really take this car on vacation if you want. Nice is here the finishes of the sill. Look underneath where you can have the like your uh, charging cable and uh, things like that. Of course, nicely finished, like uh, nice wool in here. There, uh, that's very soft. I'm gonna close that one back off. Even the sign looks like a rolls like you see. <laughs> Quite cool. Then total new rear uh, lights on this Spectre. A lot of man hours have went into, like you see, up here the school Rolls Royce badge. And it's sort of an aluminium finisher on the side, I think. We have like these three LED stripes in. I think this one is for the indicators. The two ones are always on. Then, of course, no exhausts. But you still have some fins in underneath, like you see. You have a bit of downforce because, yeah, it's still quite a fast car. It still drives 250 kilometers an hour. And I think the 0 to 100 will be like 4 seconds, so still quite a fast car to drive around in. So you need some aerodynamic features like you have here underneath. Extra line, great sort of the bumper effect here under here. But well, it's great. I think this side is to charge the car up. Maybe open it up if I can do it. I think it's closed.
Then we're going to have a look at the most beautiful part of course for Rolls Royce, the inside where all the comfort is going on. Just pull here once and the door will automatically open itself normally. I'm going to press again. Then it's automatically open, but I think only the closing is automatic. Then, like you see, the suicide openings. I'm going to start here off with the door panel, because like you see, <laughs> there's still a lot going on on this beautiful door panel. The spoke audio system beautifully created, especially for Rolls Royce. And the inside is sort of a grayish leather, like you see, complemented with some green details. And then sort of this, uh, also again, grayish brown wood. Beautiful, still the inside of the doors. Dog uh, handles, of course, to save up your seats. I think these are, um, again, massage seats also, heated seats, cool seats. And um, yeah, the finishes on all the buttons and everything is uh, quite special to open the boot up. And then you have sometimes uh, to pull on some buttons, so it looks quite good. I'm gonna dive again to the interior. Here you have it, Rolls Royce built in good boots. Spectre badge that illuminates. And here, look at these seats, guys. Uh, they're probably more comfortable than your couch at home. Then the beautiful Starlight headliner, which is uh, a must if you buy a Rolls Royce that you go for a Starlight headliner. And I think this interior color is uh, something new, something special. The gray with the sort of white leather and the green piping and stitching looks uh, quite nice. Then we're gonna also do this, guys. I'm gonna pull this seat forward. Like you see, it automatically moves itself to the front. Then I'm gonna do the test myself. I'm gonna first film here a bit on the inside. I just, how you see the illumination. Do you have sort of a nice, cozy feeling here on the inside? They say you can fit in with, with four adults, so uh, we'll have a look at that. I'm gonna step in, guys. That sits nice and comfortable in here. Here you have it again on the back to control your heating. Of course, heated seats again. Uh, how much uh, air conditioning is blowing. And then, yeah, just sitting in here with the beautiful starlight headliner. Looks uh, absolutely stunning. I'm gonna maybe pull the seat backwards that we can see. You can also change the camera view, that you can have a look at me. <laughs> How much place I still have left. And uh, look at this, guys. I can easily fit in here. I still have uh, even headroom left. I'm uh, 1 meter 80 tall. So uh, I think guys of 1 meter 90 or even 2 meters can easily fit in here. So that's, that's quite a nice thing. Most of the cars that offer a 2 plus 2 ability don't really fit adults on the rear side and this uh, yeah, Rolls Royce Spectre really does it easily. Uh, they have like more than place enough, they can still sit someone next to me very comfortable I think. And what a nice place to sit in guys, <laughs> I think it's like the very first time for me to sit in a Rolls Royce and uh, I can feel it immediately in the seats that they are very comfortable. And just looking here at the front, looks uh, immense, all the buttons and the, the star lights give like uh, an effect here on the inside. Everything is really uh, shining in here. Cool is how all the buttons finish. Nice is even the spectre uh, detailing, of course, a nice clock on the center. All the buttons will go through. And uh, yeah, typical Rolls Royce layout like you see. Now, of course, you have a uh, display in a virtual cockpit, but still yeah, very Rolls Royce like. And that's, of course, what customers want to still drive in a very luxurious car. Then I was also looking underneath here in the center. 
but here you have still some storage space with some chargers I think you can even opt maybe for a fridge here under here if it wants one and then I'll go back to the front if you would want the seat to move manually you can press here or just put it back down and it will moves itself back to the position it was in a minute ago yeah that's nice that it does that uh, automatically then of course the wool mats here on the floor my Rolls Royce is again very known for I wouldn't pick those in a, in a very bright color because they would get very dirty but yeah that depends on of course where you live and how you use it I would really uh, daily drive it then I think if you push here if I'm not wrong no I'm wrong normally you would have a button here I think I uh, know that was a cool thing actually on this uh, newer car normally you would have a button here to close the door but now if you press the pedal I think the door closes itself up so that's easy of course when you start the car up you will always press that so that when you're in the car, of course, close itself nicely. Like uh, these buttons we I already showed you. Then coming here to the steering wheel, the very known cool steering wheel of Rolls Royce. Not too much going on. Just here your cruise control settings, your volume button to pick up the phone. I think this is uh, your voice control. And that's it, just like that. Nothing more that you can just cruise around, focus on the road, of course, nice ladder. Steering wheel here finished with some beautiful in beautiful uh, wood veneer inlays. Of course, you can all choose them by yourself. The ladder, you can think choose three different colors of ladders here for the insides. The veneer, the wood, you can also go for a more steel veneer if you don't like wood on the inside, or I think even carbon fiber they are using. Then your stitching, you can choose like you have here on this car, beautiful green stitching. These are also perforated seats, like you see. And again, also the pipe in here is in green, like you see, that you can all choose your uh, Rolls Royce emblems and everything. And here, even sort of your art gallery, you can independently change what you want. This is like nicely finished with Spectre, of course, because it's a new car. And here underneath, you have some storage space. On the sides, you have some storage space, nicely illuminated. Then here on the center, you have your big. Uh, screen maybe see how that works this is your volume button for hazards to open and close the doors nice clock here always by a gold i think this one will be to control it here in the center yes this is your media button if you press here media telephone home map navigation you can uh, go here a bit through the radio stations then or maybe go um, to a home, you have like a home overview, here you see the car, small map of your navigation and which radio is playing, then here you have some apps that you can go through like with all the newer cars, ah, here it's a fun one, interior lights, you can choose uh, your ambient lighting and things like that, I'm gonna, um, let's scroll a bit through that you can have a look Doors and windows, your climate control, yeah, it's uh, everything you would want to change, parking, sensors, things like that, infotainment, you can even uh, watch YouTube in here, connect your Spotify, of course, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto nowadays come as standard, that's uh, quite nice, maybe also show you a bit of the navigation, I'm gonna just show you the map here, do you have a view here, we're in Knokke in Belgium, at the sea like you see and it works nice and easily nice clear overview go back to media your telephone to connect your phone option yeah, more just put home then here behind you have like how much range the car has 400 it says now and uh, how fast uh, you're actually driving it here are some light buttons on the side, and this is the star button here. It's a bit of a weird location to put the star button, but why not? Here this one you can 
paddle through for the lights and your automatic parking brake. I'm gonna go back here to this one I was using to interact the screen. This is to open and close your windows, parking sensors on or off, your cameras. We press here, then you can have a look at it. This is now the You can go a bit through your cameras, you have like a panorama view, you have like a big view, then a um, assist view, that of course helps you, parking view which is quite easy, then you have like different points where you can see what's going on, you can change it, its angle. A lot of uh, angles you can watch. Of course, you don't want to scratch your half a million dollar, half a million euro car. So that's quite easy that they've done it. Then here in the center, you also have like a small storage space with some charging ports. Everything nicely finished and I quite like it that they put some color here to the inside to match with the exterior color. Looks quite nice. Then we also have a black badge ghost here. And uh, if we compare a bit the spirit of ecstasy, you see this one, the, the wings are way more up than uh, we just saw on the latest Spectre. I thought that uh, there is a new spirit of ecstasy on there. And I am sort of a big fan of the <laughs> black badges for Rolls Royce, the blacked out grill. Looks a bit more aggressive, I think, here on the front. This one is still open, still functional, because yeah, there is still a V12 in this car. The new Ghost is also a very good car, they say, with the special platform. It actually has the same uh, chassis as uh, in the Phantom. So, yeah, the cheaper car drives as well as the most expensive ones. And the cool thing is these lines here to sort of split the hoodie from two. And again, cool black badge wheel design here with uh, orange details, orange pinstripe going down on the side of the car. And the, yeah, the blacked out Rolls Royce badge here. Maybe also open this one quickly up. Nicely. Put here a bit. Then, quick look here at the ghost interior. Fully black leather, again with the starlights. And then orange stitching and piping, which looks very good, I think. And this woven carbon is always a thing they use at the ghosts and look at that guys all the buttons all the clusters really look uh, very nice and this one you still have uh, your dials yeah very good and smells very good in here guys i think i could live in here then of course if you swipe here over it or press i think it is yeah the door will close itself of course soft close and open also these ones the suicide doors, like they call it, at Rolls Royce. Yeah, that's a nice place to sit, I think. And maybe go in there. Why not? I'm now here, so why not enjoy it? Here, you can put your glasses if you want. Your champagne glasses, maybe. Or your cognac glasses. I think this one press here. Then you have uh, your button controls of Rolls Royce and here you still have some storage space. Yeah, the seats uh, sit great. Oh, actually uh, very nice to be in, very nice place to sit in. Ah, here you needed to press to put the screen on. Yeah, it's like that. Like always, you have here your umbrellas that are always stuck in nicely in the door. Another known thing by Rolls Royce, close the doors back off. 
Da presser Jon nå om å ly. Yes. And what I quite like is the pin striping. Now they put the lights on of the two cars. Quite nice. Also go to the front. We can have a look at the, the front lights. Yep, cool one. Then you also have here uh, McLaren Artura and the McLaren 750S. Then I'm gonna end the video here uh, of the Rolls Royce. I hope you enjoyed a bit of the new Rolls Royce Spectre and the Rolls Royce Ghost Black Badge. And uh, please leave a like and subscribe on the channel for more car reviews to come. There are a lot more videos to come here from the Zutte Grand Prix and uh, there are a lot of adventures to come in the future. So uh, see you in the next video, guys. Big thanks for watching. Bye.